over a cup of tea with the CMD. As you all are aware, today is 23rd of July and it's the foundation day of Aludecor. So which means Aludecor is going to turn 15 years today. So, guess what? We are here at the residence of our beloved CMD, Mr. Ashok Kumar Bhaiya. And we are going to have some discussion with him about the journey of Aludecor, certain facts about his personal life and a lot of happy moments with him. So with that, I present to you Mr. Ashok Kumar Bhaiya. Good morning, sir. How are you feeling today? Good morning, I'm very excited. Great to hear that, sir. How are and you? I'm doing great, sir. Thank you so much. So, as I start off this uh, discussion with you, I would like to know how were you? How was your childhood? Uh, I was grown up in the grand family. Okay. And uh, my upbringing has been taught us on togetherness and kindness. I was very naughty. So, we see you as a very calm, composed and a serious person in office. So, are you like that in your personal life also? No. No? no. Then how are you in your personal life? I, I always been doing it. Okay. And uh, I used to read a lot of books and uh, watch TV and I used to visit uh, with my family uh, to the restaurant. Okay. You mentioned about reading books. What kind of books that you like to read? Oh, management books. Okay. And apart from books, is there like any kind of other activity that you like, say some kind of a sport, a game that yeah, you are passionate about? Family. I used to play in childhood. You used to play cricket in your childhood and, yeah, yeah. and were you a batsman or a bowler or a wicket keeper? As an all-rounder. As an all-rounder? Uh, the most worked that. Coming from Aludekar, how did the idea of Aludekar start you? He is he, uh, uh, an import of product. He is uh, used to importing uh, products from overseas country and doing distribution in India and we have an office in China in Shanghai and I used to frequently I used to visit there beside the uh, my frequent visits there to the Seoul, Seoul Korea and Taipei in Taiwan and I used to see a lot of buildings are uh, being created with there some unknown product then I do the research what is this product and it comes to know into a aluminum composite panel and the application of that product was by lift and bond in China and all, almost all the commercial buildings and government products so then I brought that product samples to India and I, I, I visited to uh, certain you know architects in Mumbai in Delhi I got the feedback from them which is very exciting product for them also and they, uh, they were uh, they've been very positive feedback on this we decided to start the business of aluminum property channel okay so this is how the concept of alu decor along with act both came together and you chose act as the right material for your new business right sir? yeah okay so we actually was a recycle 100 percent recycled product and this green product and uh, there were all the uh, uh, products also at uh, the time, upcoming products were uh, also in the, uh, in the overseas countries. But I see basically as it was 100% recycling product and it is a green product. That inspired me to go, uh, to be some, uh, start the uh, business of ACT. So why don't you tell us that we didn't see any special building that was flat in KCP that gave you the idea to start your new business with KCP and not other, not any other building cladding materials? As uh, I have uh, told you, I used to often visit, uh, visit to the, uh, used to visit to Shanghai, China, uh, to our Shanghai office. And yeah, in the building in Shanghai, I found a lot of uh, commercial buildings in this uh, business which used to plant in KCP besides that. Actually, very really fantastic building. There was a Kudo Airport. The second, very really nicely created with the city, and that inspired me to uh, go. Uh, that also inspired me to go at the uh, city. Okay. And what was the disruption during? How did you plan to disrupt the industry with that? And what were the pushbacks during that time? Uh, when we uh, decided for this product, we have uh, we have found that. There was only two manufacturers of this product at that time that just arrived in India. So both were concentrated on the profit margin of this. They are less interested in quality of the product. So we, we found this gap and to fill up this gap, 
we uh, started with world class manufacturing production line and uh, the world class production uh, manufacturing line and we never in the discussion of the book. We were always in educating and creating awareness for the quality in the industry to create the quality product demand. So since you were talking about products and its quality, why do you think some products fail? Why do you think some products are not as successful as others? After my view, there are two two issues maybe there. One, any manufacturer compromises with the quality. And he took short term decisions. That is one reason in the product in the brand fails. Second, if the manufacturer is not customer centric, to success a brand or a company or a product, one has to be customer centric. So why don't you also share with us how was the ECP industry at that time when you had started compared to how the industry is today? How would you compare these two eras of ECP industry? Oh, great. This is a very interesting question. When we started the industry, that time um, supply was less and demand was more. Most of the manufacturers don't bother for the quality. They took decision based on the margin of the ACP. But now, Things have changed. Customers are being educated. Customers are being matured. Now the supply is much more than demand. But customers are more aware of quality and they look for quality products. This has changed in the last 15 years. Okay. So Anudipur had a great role to play in the ACP industry to bring yeah. it up. Yeah. As I have told you, we, we always invested our time and resources on educating and creating awareness in the customers, among the customers on the quality farm. Okay. And they fed us today. So why don't you share with us some of the most notable stories involved with Aludoko? In Aludoko, whatever we work or whatever we take decisions are made keeping in mind the customer center. Keeping in mind Customer is it? the boss of this company. Okay. We always we try to give, provide uh, the unique experience to customer. In that process, r and team has developed so many functional products and so many new finishes. When we get the first FR order in 2012, the first FR order in 2012, that was, you can say that is one, one of the success stories. Okay. Second, the biggest, the very remarkable uh, success, our quality coating line produce, start producing textile finishes such as timber and stone and I think we are the only company in India right now, indigenously can coat in textile finishes. Third, when our sand finish was patented and uh, that product was selected for nomination of European Aluminium Award in 2016. Fourth, very last year, last financial year, and our Aluda Korean formulated and developed the ind very indigenous FREP. That is, I am telling you, uh, I feeling uh, this very big ach achievement. This they are totally formulated indigenously by extrusion process. And um, with all these success stories and all these products that are put up in the market, um, how would you say, sir, or how how hard is it for you to keep up to the title of the of leadership? Receiving a leadership is a hard, but hardest is keep retaining the leadership. It keeps me moving, always. And Aluda Korean is uh, working very hard and uh, very patiently on developing new finishes and new functional products. Our brand stands for zeal and passion of each Aluda Korean. During your Aludeco journey, when was it that you felt that you met true success? My journey is on for success. 
from the next uh, saving the next time the first project of alu decor yeah <clears throat> that always uh, remains in my mind it was in financial capital of india in mumbai okay in, in the location from handu uh, yeah the architect was dilip newara okay there was a it building uh, the cluster of it building okay so as we are coming to to the end of this discussion why don't you share with us uh, the mission vision and the value of alu decor purpose of the each and every career preserve natural resources and save mother earth as we are uh, our product is 100% recyclable we are also uh, producing the replica product of wood and stone for these are this will be preserved for the next generation second reason is creating benchmark product for architectural world our mission is to keep investing on the world class infrastructures and developing people so we can uh, produce world class product where uh, the people at last can use okay answer what about the values of alibaba whatever we take decision the the way we work well we are keeping in mind we, we should be ethical we should be transparent we should be trustworthy and we all do work team work and we should work to us customer to life so what i see now sir so many success stories so many achievements so what is next radocor to be world leading brand and company in metal company and sir is there any message for us for all our for all us alu decorians be your own performance do better than what you did did study to achieve the greater height and your landmark